Hello and welcome to Georgia Sites online needle tatting class. Today I want to show you how to do the balanced double stitch or the double double stitch. It's got many many names but what it is and what it's used for. Usually a standard motif will have like six, seven double stitches then a pico and da 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 da. Well, when you get into a chain or a ring that has a tremendous amount of double stitches, like 15 double stitches and then a pico and 15 more double stitches and then a pico and 15 more, your ring is going to get a little bit out of shape, okay? It's going to be hard to work with. And some of the more seasoned tatters, well-known tatters, have come up with techniques called the balanced double stitch, okay, or the double double stitch. And shuttle tatters use it, why can't needle tatters? So guess what? You're going to learn how to do it in needle tatting. The way you do a balanced double stitch or a double double stitch is like this. You're going to wrap your hand once, wrap your hand twice. That's the first half of the stitch. Then you're going to come up under that stitch and put it on your needle. Pull it down there tight to where the two legs sit side by side. Okay? The other half of that stitch, roll your hand once roll your hand twice, bend it over, and grab both stitches, or both of those threads, and you're going to pull it down. As you're pulling it down, watch what you're doing, okay? And all four threads should lay there, and it looks like one double stitch, but what it actually is, is two. Okay? So let me do that again. Let me zoom in. So you can get a good shot at this. Watch what I'm doing. We're going to go once, twice, run it up and grab both those threads. Pull them down. Now you can put a pico in there. It's not going to hurt nothing. You just tat like normal. Now we're going to do the second half. One, two, bend our knuckle over and grab both of them threads. You see that? Now watch, watch what it does. It's going to come down and it's going to lay right next to that other double stitch. You see that? That's what a double double stitch looks like or a balanced double stitch. And what this equates to is two double stitches. So if a pattern calls for 15 double stitches. You can put two or three of these in the pattern and count them as two double stitches and it'll hold. And it keeps the pattern more firm and not so floppy and not so out of shape. So there you have it. You have the balanced double stitch or the double double stitch in needle tatting. So, hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and happy tatting.